is the yarn that I'm using for today for the top. It's Baby B yarn. And they also got these little cute roses to decorate my top with. And the crochet hook that I'm using is 3.5 meter of crochet hook. To start off, you're going to change the size of your bust by leave five inches between your measurement so that we have the opening in the back of our top. Once you get the size of your bust and you leave five inches between your measurement, after that you're going to change two. And to the third change here, we, right here, we're gonna do half double crochet. And continue to do half double crochet and each stitch all the way to the end. After you come to the end, you're going to change two. Then flip your work around. Instead of crochet in the first stitch, we're gonna skip it into the second one. We're gonna do half double crochet. And continue to do half double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end. And you're gonna do this pattern over and over till you get the it cover your bust size. Some people might be confused on what I made by covering your breast. I have made this top. This is my first one that I made. Bottom is gonna be the ruffles and the pier is gonna be the half double crochet. So that's what I mean by crocheting half double crochet to cover your breast. I don't know if you can see it, but this right here, it's all half double crochet to here because you cannot see through it. But the ruffles down here, the white one, is like seen through, so we don't want that. So you want to cover your breast with the half double crochet. And the next step will be making the seen through, like the ruffles at the bottom. The ones are working now. And they only cover just like right here, so I have a little bit, well, more to go. So I'm going to continue to do it till I cover fully up here, this my breast. And I will stop. So this is what my half double crochet look like after I cover my bust area with the size of my pattern. After that you can just cut your yarn off. And now we're going to move to the next step. So before we move to the next step, I just want you guys to have some choices of the pattern that you want and how you prefer your top to be. So this is the first one that I made. I made it two different color. I have a pink and white, but the one, the blue one I'm making right now, I'm just gonna do one color, but I just wanna show you guys so you can have idea. You can do two different color. So I end up doing the ruffles with white instead of the pink. And the up top here, I only do like a single crochet with the white because I want the white matching both the end. So I did that. If you guys want to do that, you're welcome to do that too with your pattern. But I just want to show you guys what um, other choices you can have. And this is the back, the opening back that I was talking about from the beginning. That I said leave 5 inches or more between your measurements so you can have the opening back of your top. So this is the back of the top I was talking about. So now we're going to move on to the... Um, next step that we have to make the ruffles to start our ruffle at the bottom so we're gonna start where we start from the beginning so which is here this edge up here you can note the difference this is where we finish we just finish our pattern and this is where we start so we want to start with that the end the beginning that we did so if you do want two different color you want to grab different yarn but if you're doing the same color like me, you can just use the same color that you have. So slip stitch your yarn to your pattern and tie it so it stays in place. Once you have that, we're just gonna change two. And to the next stitch here, it's kinda hard to see it because this is what we did at the beginning, that's our pattern from the beginning. 
but into the next stitch you're just gonna do a single crochet and continue to do single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end after single crochet in your e stitch all the way to the end of your top then what we're gonna do next is changing three so you're gonna change three one three and i'll flip your work around after that and into the second stitch so we're gonna skip this first one here into the second one we're gonna do double crochet two double crochet so you have total up two double crochet into a same stitch then you want to change one into the same stitch we're gonna do two more double crochet so we have total of four in one stitch and after that we're going to skip two double we're gonna skip two stitch so one two into the third one we're gonna do two double crochet into the third one So then you have total of two double crochet into a same stitch then we're going to change one into the same stitch we're going to do two more double crochet so we have total of four then we're going to um, skip three stitches sorry two stitches so one two three into the third one we're going to do two double crochet Then change one into the same stitch. We're gonna do two more double crochet. Then skip two stitches. One, two, and to the third one, we're gonna do two double crochet. Change one into the same stitch. We're gonna do two more double crochet. So you're just gonna continue to do this pattern all the way to the end of your top so i'm into my last stitch here i'm gonna do double crochet into my last stitch red chain three flip your work around now i'm gonna double two double crochet into the stitch between these two here between the one chain that they the between my two stitches i'm gonna do two double crochet into that Then change one into the same stitch. We're gonna do two more double crochet. And go into the next stitch between these two here, the two one chain that I did between my two stitches. I'm gonna do two double crochet into that. Then change one into the same stitch. We're gonna do two more double crochet. Then go to the next one, do same thing between the two stitches, there's a one change between them. So you're gonna do two double crochet into that, then change one and do two more double crochet. So you have total of four. So you're just gonna continue to do this same pattern all the way to the end of your top. The last stitch, which is um, into my last stitch, on top of the three chain that we did from the beginning, I'm gonna do half double crochet into that. After we're going to chain three, flip your work around again. We're just gonna do the same pattern that we did from the beginning. So we're just gonna do the two double crochet into between our chain, one chain that we did. After that change one into the same stitch, we're gonna do two more double crochet. So we have total of four. Go to the next one, do two double crochet into the same stitch. And change one to the same stitch, we're gonna do two more. So you're just gonna continue to do this same pattern all the way to the end, back and forth till you have the size um of your top that you want so the rest of the pattern uh, is gonna be what you prefer be free to customize your own top the way you want it 
and if you're someone that like your top a little bit longer so you're just gonna continue to do the ruffles the ruffles give you the length of your top so you're just gonna continue to do it till you have the length that you want you prefer if you're someone that doing like a crop top you can always make your ruffle shorter just do the same pattern and then you will get the same result so you just continue to do that and they'll meet you when i have mine so this is what my top look like after i got to the length of my top so this is what the ruffles look like as you go so want the more um layers you added to your ruffles the more ruffles you get with your top but this is pretty much basically my top i made my little bit shorter like a crop top because i like this style so we almost done with our top so if you just finish up with your top you can just cut the yarn off we don't need to add more layers if you get to the point that you want it to stop you can just cut the yarn off and now what we're going to do is move into the next step which is making the strap of our top quick reminder before we move on to our step next step so if you're doing two different colors, what you want to do before you add in your strap or anything else, you just want to do single crochet with the different color that you have so that you don't have a matching. So you have a two mixed color both at the end, just like mine. If you want it two different color, you can always do that. I just want to remind you guys. So let's go to the next step. So before we make the strap of a top, we're just gonna make the crisscross in the back first. So just like this, at the back of my top, I have a little hole that that's what we're gonna do so that I can allow me to put my thread between to make the zigzag in the back so that we can close our top in the back. So that's what we're gonna do next. So I'm only gonna do that uh, and making the holes between my stitches only to my half double crochet which is the one here not into the ruffles but just the double crochet when i come to the ruffles here i just stop you can just continue do single crochet and each stitch all the way to the end when you come to your ruffles you can just use your hole that you have the end of your ruffles as a holes as a hole that you can stitch your thread like this between them so you don't need to make holes and uh, your ruffles at the bottom so you need to grab a top of your top which is what you stop your yarn not the ruffles here but the half double crochet the top of it and you're just gonna slip stitch your yarn make sure to tie your yarn so it stays in place just grab that now you're gonna change one and into the next stitch you're just gonna do single crochet into the next stitch you're just gonna do single crochet then you will change seven we're gonna skip the first stitch which is here we're gonna skip it and into the next stitch down here we're just gonna do single crochet so like this we made right here we made a holes for our thread to go between so continue to do single crochet you're just gonna do um single crochet between the holes it depends on what you want if you want a bigger gap you're just gonna continue to do more single crochet right here i have total of a single crochet which is between my two gap of my holes but if you do want to do eight or nine single crochet between your holes you can do that just continue to do that all the way stop right here at the half double crochet ended and we're gonna continue to do single crochet and east stitch to the ruffles all the way to the ruffles So this is what mine look like so far so i have seven single crochet into each stitch then i change um seven then i skip one stitch and then into the second one i do single crochet and now i'm just gonna continue to do single crochet till i have total of seven so i have seven single crochet and i come all the way to my ruffles here so i'm just gonna continue to do single crochet and each stitch 
all the way to the end of my ruffle top so I only have two holes that I made but that's okay because I can use one of the holes in the ruffles to put my thread to So after I come the end of my top down here, you can just cut your yarn off. And now you, what you want to do is do the same exact same pattern that you did from this side to the other side of your top, this side here. So if you have three holes, you're going to do same thing here, three holes. So it's all equals like this. Both sides have the three holes. If you have two like mine, you're going to do the same thing. And then you come to the ruffles, you're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way to the end so we're just gonna do exactly the same pattern from here to the other side that you have not done yet and don't meet you when i have mine we're going to make a string so that we put between the holes that we made to um close the back of our top so just like this one so this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna make this string so by making that you want to double up your yarn if you want your string to be thicker but if it, you don't care you can just use one yarn but for me i'm going to double up my yarn by making the string you're just gonna start with the magic ring but we're just gonna um, change so you just kind of chain till you get the length that of your um string that you want so it depends how long you want you need in the back of your top so if i was you i'm just gonna make long as change as i can and then when i try my top on if it's too long i can always take it off but if you made it too short you can't go back because you have to start over with the new one so i always make a long as i can and then when i try my top on if it's too long i can always just take off the change um that i don't want this is pretty much how much I have to change. I have to take some off because I did a little bit too long because I tried my top on. So to put it on your string into your top, so the hole that we made, you're just gonna get the string into that between that and both sides like this. Make sure the um, thread is equal on both sides when you before you move on to the next step. And now you're gonna what you're gonna do is like tighten your shoes kind of but you're gonna go crisscross so this yarn is gonna go here into this hole like this and then the other one is gonna go to the other hole that you have not put anything in it so you have like a zigzag at back of your top and now into here we don't have any holes but we make at the end here there's pretty much big holes between anyways so you're just gonna pick one of the holes here to the ruffles you're gonna stick your yarn into that and do same thing so when you put this top on you probably gonna need someone to help you to um make this in the back like the first set in the back so you're just gonna continue to do that Here. Now we're done the back of our top. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. And now we're gonna make the strap of the top. So to make our strap, you're gonna have your full top and you're gonna set it against your body. So make sure they're equal on both sides. If you need someone to help you, ask someone next to you to help you to do that. So make sure they're both on equal side of your um, both shoulder. They're both equal. So then you need something to mark where you want your strap to be. So mine, I want to write here, which is exactly what my tank top strap is. Have something to mark it so you don't lose where your uh, strap need to go. So this is mine right here. And they have same equals on both sides i think <laughs> i think i have the same so this is what you need to do so after you have that and now we're gonna move on to the next step now if you're someone who likes to make things perfect like the way you have to be perfect just like me or if you're someone that you're like mm, i don't think i got it right you can always use a tape measure to measure the side so i will start where i mark my top 
and then measure to the end of my top so i have 12 and made 12 inches in this side and i'm gonna do same thing if i get the different number i have to move one of them a little bit so they're all equal let's see so this one here i have 13 so i have to move this one a little bit back to make it so they both have a 12 inches and same okay let's see it there and now i have 12 inches in this side and i have 12 inches in this side so they all both equals and the same and now we're gonna make our strap since we figured out everything we need to do before so now we just um gonna make a strap so before you take the thing off just stick your yarn needle into the hole and then you can take the markers mark that you have off and then you're just gonna slip stitch the yarn and tie the yarn against your pattern and now we're just gonna change so you're gonna change how long you want your strap to be so mine i'm gonna do 70 and then you're gonna do the same thing on both sides so i'm gonna do 70 change on both sides to my strap so i have same equal so you're just gonna do that so i just finished up um, making my strap in both sides so i have 50, um, 70s change on this side and 70 change on this side so this is what my strap look like and now we're gonna do is making the back strap which is a little bit harder than the other because it's hard to figure out what you want your strap to be so i'm gonna so i'm gonna show you guys what the first top that i made the strap in the back of the top will look like so you guys have idea so you can place your strap mine i did it's a little bit close to the edge of the top and it was in the right place when i tried it on so you can try that first try to place your um change closer to the edge of your top and then try it on if it's too close or if it's too far you can always move it a little bit farther or a little bit closer so you can figure out what your strap needs to be in the back but it, it's never gonna be equals here because it will not fit right it's gonna go right under your armpit that's not the right way so you have to figure out that so just trying to place your change all the way to the end a um, little bit closer to the end of your stitch here in the back and try it on if it's a right or if it's a little bit wrong you can always move it and replace it you know what you did so you don't make the same mistake again so i'm just gonna do the first one for example with you guys i don't know where the strap needs to be in the back right here so i'm just gonna guess where it's gonna go but i know it needs to be a little bit closer to the end of the top here so i'm just gonna place it right here Then I'm gonna change, same thing I did from the my first um, strap that I did here. So I did 70 stitch change here. I'm gonna do same thing in the back. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna chase 70 and then I will try my top on and then figure out if it's the strap in the back is in the right place. If it's not, I'm gonna move it. So you're gonna do that same thing both to the other side. So this is what my top looked like after I figured out what my strap in the back gonna go. I have someone help me to mark that when I put the top against my body. Someone did help me do that. It was way easier than doing it by myself. So this is what it looked like in the back. This is pretty much it. And now we're gonna do the last thing of our top. So before we put the roses on, we need to gather the top a little bit before we put the roses in onto your top. So you're just gonna find the center of your top, which is like right here for me. And I'm just gonna grab, let me zoom a little bit. And I'm just gonna grab a little pieces like this, like this, and then you need a needle. And you're just gonna weave it out, sewing it together, just a little bit, not the whole thing, just the little pieces. Sorry, my cat is playing with the thing. So we like this. So 
make sure you find the center of your top to do that with no sammy sorry you think i'm playing with them so you're just gonna do that to your top and now we're gonna move on to the roses so this is what mine look like and you're welcome to grab more pieces so i grab a little bit more pieces on both sides of my top so this is what it look like if you grab more pieces it's totally fine too and my cat's still in the video sorry he will not move and now we're gonna sew our roses on so to sew our roses on you need a different needle like a tiny little hand sewing needle and you have your roses you're just gonna place right in the center of your top right here and you're just gonna hand sew it so you do that with yours and then i will show you what mine look like so this is what my top look like after sewing out the roses onto my top and this is pretty much all our top and we finish it so you can tie this two um strap together like a bow and then the strap in the back i don't have my one on right now but i will put it on later um but this is pretty much my top and you guys say hi to my cat hi sammy and thank you guys so much for watching my video see you guys next time